what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM on this device. This is the 4th August 2020 build of the Evolution X ROM on this device and if you wanna see the change logs you can see it from here. This is the Evolution X version 4.6 by the way and I'll put all the download links and all the important file links in the description box below so do not worry and if you're clean flashing this ROM coming from MIUI you can watch this particular video to flash this ROM and just to like remind you that you need to flash the latest firmware as of right now which is the 12.0.2 firmware and if you're already on the latest firmware ROM or like if you already have installed the latest firmware you do not need to install it separately again. You just wipe cache Dalvik system data and flash the ROM file if cryptizable if your storage is decrypted and you just reboot. And from these change logs you can see whatever are like the changes about this ROM. Well I would say the changes are regarding the stability. In my opinion this ROM has been one of the best by far for me at least and yeah you can still call me a fanboy of Evolution X I won't mind because this ROM is just great for everything in my opinion and the wallpaper I have been using this is the SN5 of Starship if you haven't uh, like seen the launch I'll link it below in the description if in case just you are curious in space stuff so yeah to the left of the stock launcher we have this Google's discover page swiping up gets you to the app drawer and swiping down anywhere over here like gets you to this notification or quick settings panel. This is a pixel launcher by default so we do not have any double tap to sleep anywhere but we of course have the double tap to sleep on the status bar so that is there. Now talking about the quick settings panel here is how it looks like again and you can add more stuff like this screen recorder which I have added and if you go into the settings this is the oxygenous kind of screen recorder still present and the resolution you can change over here and then we have this bitrate changing option up to 24 mbps and let me go back we can change the number of frames of the screen record up to 60 fps and here you can change the audio source to internal audio or the microphone audio or you can select no audio if you don't want any audio in the screen recording and of course we have this fps counter this is working fine as you can see it appeared on the top left so you can play any game by enabling this fps counter and you can pretty much play any games like it will show how much fps you are getting in game and if you really want to see the gaming performance of this Evolution X ROM, you can click on the card right there. Now let me show you the stock camera. Well, this is the MIUI camera still and we do have this portrait mode and stuff. Let me take a picture quickly over here of this object and I'll take a portrait picture of this. This is just to show you guys that the portrait mode is actually working as you can see I have like focused on this like camera lenses cover and here as you can see we have the focus but in the background if you want to see the router if you're noticing it is still blurred. So yeah the portrait mode should be working fine so that is not a problem. Well that was a meme right there and switching between lenses as you can see is pretty fast and it is pretty snappy no issues while switching between lenses it is very fast. And in the video settings, let me show you, you can shoot 4K 60fps with the rear camera. And if you're talking about front camera, let me show you, you can shoot up to 1080p and 30fps. Well, that's the limit. You cannot shoot 60fps videos with the front camera with this default camera at least. And in terms of slow motion, of course, we still have the 960fps slow mo thing. And I have also installed Google Camera 7. If you are someone who likes Google Camera pictures, you can install this Google Camera. I'll link a card over there to install this Google camera and have the settings just as I use it. So you can have this your Nexus Google camera and you can go into the night site and stuff. You can take astrophotography pictures if you really love those kind of photography and stuff in night. So yeah, you can click any kind of like great pictures with this Google camera 7. I'm not going to show you all the customizations present over here because that will just go boring because the customizations is pretty similar but I'll show you some of the things but before that let me show you the system panel. We have this system updater over here from where you can check for updates. Let me go into the about section now and here in the Android version we still have this Evolution XX logo up top and the Android version is still like Android 10 of course. The Evolution X version shows 4.6 Franklin official build and the security patch is latest of August 5th, 2020. So this is the first ROM in August that I have used with August security patch. So that's pretty great. The build maintainer is still Joe Huab, so that's great. And the build date is August 4th, 2020. So for the people who have said earlier that Evolution X is dead, it won't receive updates. 
you my friend just are wrong and in the system panel we do have this gesture section from where you can enable this swipe right screenshot and as you can see in this like section we have this screenshot type changing option so you can change it to take full screenshot and extended screenshot so you can take a screenshot just like this and you can take a long edit and like share the screenshot right away and delete them so that's great let me go to the gesture navigation and here we still have this android 10 gesture and if you're noticing the pill bar which is quite long right now because i've adjusted this gesture bar size to long so that is why the pill bar is quite long and we have some more customizations present up here and you can still use two and three button navigation if you are someone who uses those old school kind of navigation thing and in the evolver settings we get all the customizations and here in the about section you can see the about and you can donate to the developers from here let me go back we have the theme section and here we have the accent color and stuff and we get like every kind of accent color changing option you won't need to worry about customizations in evolution x there are a hell lot of customizations everywhere and we also have this header image section let me show you how you can you get that evolution x kind of header if you want that let's select this to static so right now from this pick image from collection section you can select this evolution x light or dark as you like it from here and from here i'll choose this one so let's go back right now if i enable this header image and as you can see right now it shows this like evolution x kind of logo up top so that looks dope in my opinion and you can adjust this blur and stuff so you can have these kind of things now let me show you the lock screen section because i want to show you something here make sure you are using this vivo cyan or shadow i have been using with the shadow one and that has been working really great let me show you if you set this like color this fingerprint pressed effect if you set this to vivo cyan and you can have any animation i have set it to like hello ring animation and let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed now from the always on display unlocked now from the always on display with the left thumb unlocked just notice the fingerprint scanner speed i'll like double tap over here to go into the lock screen and right now i'll just tap here and as you can see unlocked the fingerprint scanner speed has been pretty fast no issues with it as you can see unlocked again now i'll try with the night light turned on let's do it again from the always on display unlocked now from the always on display left thumb night light turned on unlocked now from the lock screen i'll try and again as you can see unlocked pretty fast with the lock screen again left thumb night light turned on unlocked so the fingerprint scanner is not a problem here at all now the fingerprint scanner has been really great experience it unlocks 100 percent of the time so no issues with that and we do still have wi-fi calling over here so let me show you the stock dialer let me place a call this is still the pixel dialer and as you can see we do not have any call recording option over here but we do have this video calling option in the stock dialer so that's great but no call recording option at least by default and vaulty calling and stuff should be working great you should not worry about those and talking about the battery in my opinion the battery life has been great and as you can see it shows this kind of information which is pretty handy and it shows the like design battery capacity the current battery capacity then it shows the charging cycles and it shows the battery temperature all the time over here in the battery settings on the bottom so that's pretty cool you can check the screen on time and stuff from here and in my opinion i have been getting about seven plus hours of screen on time so not a problem with the battery life and it supports 18 watt fast charging or even 27 watt so that is not a problem and in my charging like experience i haven't seen that much of heating over here right now it was like there the heating problem was there with fast charging earlier but right now it has been fixed it, the device does not get heated up a lot i have seen it going to 40 degrees or 38 while fast charging so that's how it is in the display settings we have this lock screen display from where you have this always on display and stuff and then we have the styles and wallpapers this clock settings are there and from here you can like set any kind of clock the lock screen clock you can change it from here let me go over to the wallpaper section here we have this come alive section from where you can have these kind of like live wallpapers so that is pretty cool you can download them and use them and in the living universe we have these live wallpapers too so yeah you get a lot of options but you have to download from this expand your collection section you have to download these wallpapers these three live wallpapers in the living universe stays downloaded over there and we have this sprite section then this landscape textures 
life etc options are there and we also have the screen timeout option you can change that and also there is the lock screen timeout so you can change that too so that is good we have the color set to boosted by default then font size display size we can change that and double tap to wake is there so that is cool anti flicker mode is there or the dc dimming you can use that if you want to now in the sound settings we still have this me audio dirac and from here you can change this sound preset to anything and then the headset type you can choose it from here the sound output via the headphone jack over here is amazing we do not have any issues over bluetooth or over like the 3.5 mm headphone jack everything is working fine no issues with the sound quality over here even with speakers they are very loud everywhere so you should not worry about the sound quality in this rom and you can also use this hi-fi audio dirac if you want to you can change this dial pad like tones you can disable them i mean the touch sound screenshot sound etc then you can also enable this ring volume notification etc on the like volume panel and as you can see this is how it looks like you can expand them just like this and we have this thing which says location changing option of the volume panel so if i select this it will go from right to left but right now as you can see it still says stays to the right so i think after a reboot it will change to left or something and inside vibration and haptics we have this in call vibration stuff then vibrate for calls touch vibration etc is there and there is this ringtone vibration pattern you can change it to these many options and inside security we still do not have any app lockers but yes there is the face unlock so let me set up the face unlock quickly and show you and right now from the home screen let's just double tap over here and right now if i double tap to wake it does not unlock i have to swipe up i guess so after swiping up as you can see it pops out the camera and unlocks the screen no option to like double tap and it will automatically open up the front camera this is not just there so that is how it is so you have to swipe up from the lock screen itself to unlock the phone with the face unlock feature so that is good it won't trigger in your pocket or something if it gets double tapped somehow so yeah that is cool and if you're wondering why this like lock screen looks like this this clock and stuff if you want to set this let me show you the settings that i use so for that you have to go to this evolver settings then you go to the lock screen and from here just scroll down go to this clock widget option and from here select this to semi bold and change the font size to 90 or something if you want to have a big clock and here we have the clock font thing and you can change the clock font to anything but by default it is set to google sense i did not change it i guess and from here we have this date widget just go into this and have this date widget set to dark with accent borders with this you can get that like accent color border and i have changed the font size to 21 dp i guess and that is the reason why this is looking like this in the lock screen yep you can use it however you want with your settings but this is what i use some people do ask me that how it looks like this in my lock screen this is how i do it and we still do not have that always unlock with fitbit scanner and stuff yes i do miss those features but there are a lot of features like this brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar and other stuff for evolution x which does work great so you should not worry about customizations in this rom and in this misc settings we have this wake up on charge disabling option charging animation and stuff and from here you can set this usb configuration to file transfer so that whenever you connect a usb cable to the pc in the pc it will open the file explorer of this like devices internal storage and stuff so that really helps me so yeah i do use these kind of features and the evolution x simply has a lot of features which i like that is the reason why by far this is one of the best roms out there and the widgets and stuff on the home screen does work fine right now let me just open some of the apps and show you guys the app on of speeds and the ram management here let's open twitter now let's open play store youtube instagram now this google home now spotify now let's open all the apps from memory again twitter play store and youtube instagram google home spotify instagram home and chrome facebook twitter and you can of course switch between apps just like this and as you can see it does work flawlessly so that is not a problem the app of no speeds and the ram management over here is just great and if you want to see the benchmarks here are the android and geekbench scores for you guys the DRM info shows here as level 1 so Netflix or Amazon Prime videos will work in 1080p you should not worry about that. And banking apps does work right out of the box here so that is not a problem as you can see the safety net status says passed 
So you can use banking apps like Google Pay right out of the box and I did set up my Google Pay and it has been working totally fine. So that's been it guys about Evolution Xtrom. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. I pretty much like the Evolution X as I do usually and this ROM is just getting better with every little update. So that wraps up this video guys. This is Tiro from KD Index signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now.